I really want this record to be the kind of record you can get home, put headphones on or whatever, and just forget about reality, forget about whatever's going on. And just be taken to this magical musical place. I was just taking too many antidepressants. Everything was suppressed. Every single emotion that you could feel was suppressed. There was very little happiness and very little sadness. In 2000 was when I actually came off all the antidepressants. I just didn't know where I was and everything was new to me and I, could, I felt really, really emotional. Hadn't felt for a long time, but it was really harsh. Like I was feeling really happy one moment and just really down the next. And yeah, but then all of a sudden, I really started appreciating the ups, which I hadn't felt for such a long time. I was really, I was really getting these moments of just magical clarity. And then I just felt totally inspired. Alright, um, are you ready to do the next one, Phil? Oh yes. It's called One Way Mule. One Way Mule? Be nice to have a mule. <laughs> it's a blind mule and it's just following its um, line of sight. This story just gets sadder and sadder, this story. It is pretty sad. Okay, well play me a little bit. <laughs> I started writing and thought I had an album's worth of material and then about eight songs into it I realised that I hated everything that I'd written. That just sounded too much like the last album. And I thought in order to start fresh and really be happy with it I've got to know that they're gone, I can't go back to that. I knew it was a risk and I was kind of nervous about it but after not sleeping thinking about what I should do I scrapped it and I actually went got the tape and pressed record and let it run. album going to be like. I think it's going to be very different to what we've done before. We're all a little bit older and we're all a little bit better players. I know the whole thing is just musically, I don't know how you expect, you can't really, you just got to hear it. Hollywood. Uh, but let's just rain here. I'm really trying to branch out. There's still dark moments, but it's more of a journey, it's more, it's a lot more open, there's such, such a broad spectrum of emotion, a broad spectrum of lyrical approaches. I felt high for the 
about six months just writing and playing this music and it just feels really magical so I mean, that's what I really want to capture in the record. How you doing on Chair Page? We're just going to go for a quick little tour. Uh, this is obviously the console. This is where we record the rough versions of the songs. Come on, son! Yeah. We can then uh, start talking to producers and see who's up for working with the band. This is uh, where Daniel's been doing his vocals. La la la. These are, these are my hits. And Daniel's guitars and the amps are in the rooms over here. And uh, we've just recorded nine new songs over the last two days here. Yeah, thanks for visiting Chair Page. <laughs> Why would you want to possibly hide them? I thought I was just thinking I owed you. I owed you a practical joke. I don't know where they are. Should we just get two guns? You're not going to be able to use any of the three. Usually at this point in the pre-production process and you know making a record process you'd be starting with a crop of you know 20 or 30 oh, songs I see what you mean. and you'd be I, which you have done you've started with a crop of 20 things and you've honed them down to 15. Just because I call earlier. I know I, but it, this is like how A&R people usually make records. If you can make them a believer in all of this and carry it forward at this point in the proceedings it's going to save you so much like just hassle and pain in the ass down the road. And uh, there's nothing to worry about. Uh,
you drop down again one more time. It's building, it's building, it's building. Yeah. 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 Did you give me a ticket? Uh, so you've got the parking lady standing in a parking spot for you. Yeah. Run this city. songs if you don't follow a sit if you don't follow your melody then you're really throwing the listener off. This one feels like yeah an air bubble in there. Yeah, like yeah you know what if they if they flush it it'll pop the it'll it do it'll drive you nuts. It's so crazy. Better to go there now and have them just flush it out because if it is an air bubble it'll get rid of it. Off to the doctor. Take care. <laughs> The idea is conceptually with the song is that it, it starts one place and it goes somewhere. Right. Boys out for a bit of inspiration. Like it's not it doesn't it doesn't over the sections don't overstay their welcome, they don't kind of like drag. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's a little tight, but I think tempo wise okay. they'd be able to kind of work it so that, like I wouldn't dread Having another one of those, uh, I thought that it led into the chorus pretty well. I thought, although you know what, it never—it's not a pre-chorus now. It's like a pre-verse. Pre-verse. But it comes before the second verse, and it comes before the third verse. That's correct. You see, I found a way to counter the argument. Very good. The shift in perspective <laughs> of what it is. Silver and golden sun, you'll be home again, and I'll be home again. Mending my sleep, I'm boxing underwater, waddle on the wake, waking on the sun. Singing in bits, I shouldn't have been singing that. Two days until we go in to record the next album. Two days? Three days, not including. Well, three days including today. Right. No, we're going on Monday. CD for the rest of time. There's this genuine feeling of excitement. It feels like everything's in place and we've kind of got this rough map and we'll kind of follow it and see where it takes us.
we're just hanging out down at uh, 301 Studios out in the cord, yeah, we've got the pond here. This is uh, the infamous gizmo that no one knows anything about. This is where the man works. I was discussing with our management, it's like I really want this to be really filmic, I want it to be mm -hmm. like stepping into a fantasy land I'm, because that's what I was trying to do with the songs. And then John Watson said, Van Dyke Parks who'd worked with the Beach Boys and all these people that I was like, whoa, he, he would have been great but I think he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was dead that very day. <laughs> I want to tell you something. It would be hog heaven if we had at least a trombone and um, a couple of flutes here and there with an oboe and two clarinets and a bassoon would be nice on something big. And I love three French horns. <laughs> All right, well, now what we have to do, Van Dyke, is speak to the money people yeah. and see what sort of budget we have available for the numbers that we're looking at. And then within the next at least 24 hours, we'll have all the answers for you. All right. Like, I'm not trying to be pretentious about this. I'm trying to strike a good balance between what I know and what I hear in your music. Okay. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yes! B minor, and then it's this E. Oh, you've got a second on there. Mm -hmm. Very filming about Lawrence. I strapped myself in for a safe second ride before it started a train. It's fun because if you get good horn players, they're like, yeah, cool. You, like they, yeah, they come yeah, roll yeah. earth, wind, and fire in a good way. Yeah. You know, and we'll be able to get them bop, 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 and you do bop, 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 like that. And yeah. they'll be like, yeah, that'll be really cool. Yeah. Just... Can we try doubling that guy? Anton, that was swift. Here we go. Last night we went out for one beer at the local uh, at the local pub, which we turned into about 20, 10 beers. Oh, sensible one, because I'm not finished yet. Benjamin's finished. Uh... Finished doing the job tax, so I went out last night, celebrated. Come on. And uh, and actually, a, a friend of ours, one of the uh, engineers, Matt Lovell, <laughs> came as well, and uh, he had a few more beers than I did. So. How you doing, yeah. Matt Lovell? Lovell. Hang on, it's a bit dark. Lovell. This is the man we've all been waiting for. Hey, you feeling, mate? Oh, you know, I missed out on the sleeve. Well, I think uh, greatest view for me is really exciting, and, and I've actually I've been focusing on that one a little bit and working really hard on that. Without you as well, it's really that's got a real kind of 
an, an, an exciting swing to it that's, uh, and a vocal that's just a killer vocal. Uh, and I'd love you to, I'd really love you to be here when, you know, maybe Van Dyke is here kind of doing things. That's, that's, that's at the end of next week is when we're recording that, Thursday, Friday. With the albums, I'm really trying to branch out and be more than just a traditional rock band and take it somewhere, you know, where people can, can mess it to and think, how do you hear? Where the last record, it was like I was submerged and I couldn't get out of something. It was a very contained album. This album, I think, because of the year off and a lot of the stuff that I did in the time off, it really opened my eyes and in turn kind of opened my mind up a lot as well. So musically, I wanted to follow that by just making songs that take you on some kind of journey without scaring you off. It's taking you somewhere where it's pleasant to go, but it's not necessarily easy. Um, I've, I've just worked on three songs, but but uh, that's been a career. I mean, <laughs> I was a brunette when I started this project, okay? <laughs> when I looked into this work, I wanted to weep. I thought that the vocalist was in such dead earnest. Simple as that. I liked that person. I wanted to know who that person was. Open the doors to my trust Find my best seen anything like it since I worked for Brian Wilson. See now, there's a, an example of me not wanting to do an interview. <laughs> well, I'm with you because it takes like, you, to me, it oh, takes you out, you're yeah, just in the zone. Like, it's great. great but, I, don't, I don't want to leave here yet. Oh, boy. This is uh, Tom Tom Hard at Work on the desk. We've got David pouring coffee, Daniel. You just that white cup, didn't you? For the there it is. Brass to right keep there. in. Warm you up? It's just a half. Yeah. Ben, he's concentrating very hard. It's all very exciting. You put it down, very, you put it down, and you never finish that. So rather than taking a whole one, yeah. 15 to 20 cups of coffee a day, that's a waste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. definitely. That's where the action's happening. Come on through. This is the live room. This is my room. This was once all mine.
It just needs a nine volt. Nine volt. Let's do it. Um, drop. Do you want to go from that actual spot? Maybe. Do you want to, let's just go for a take. I personally feel really kind of young and enthusiastic again. This album is about capturing a really positive energy. I don't think we've had this kind of enthusiasm for music since we were like 15. Everyone's pupils are so dilated in this light. What am I like? You've got brown eyes, so you can't see because the shadow. Are you tall, dark, and handsome? Some of Larry's stuff, found out when home on Monday. So we're getting very excited and so close.
Maybe we just uh, have some dinner too. It sounds like we have a bit of tops in. Let's have some dinner. Of, yeah. Maybe a little base lubricant. Like snot? Yeah, it's just a good Well, you found your grips and a little snot. We're there. So that's the album then. David's going to mix. He's producing his record. And I'll co produce it this time around, which is cool. I feel really excited about it. And um, yeah, I hope it's not disappointing in the end. <laughs> side of the industry which is very commerce based. It's really constantly finding that balance and shifting between trying to keep them happy, keep them happy, but the whole time you've got to be happy with where it's going. Something about the, it's not as captivating as it was on the rough mix, I don't know, mm -hmm. I can't put my finger on it. Well let's yeah. check it out. A, a whole reality starts to set in, like you start realising that it's not, it's not just a bunch of ideas in your head anymore, you're actually doing it and it's going to go on a record and people are going to hear it. That seems not as dry to me. This Vocally, yeah, yeah, there's more reverb on the vocal, yeah. definitely. I think it might be that. Yeah? Dimension, yeah, and depth, and like there's, there's something that's there. It's when that, that bass flute comes <laughs> yeah. in, right? And the guitar sounds too are quite thick sounds. And yeah. that sounds yeah. a lot more. Can we more just try bringing there. the drums in when the vocal comes in and just have the tempo? There's so much going on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> This is the driver. I'm the navigator. <laughs> Left here. <laughs> Certainly doesn't. Do you know what the speed limit is? Yeah, 150. <laughs> Welcome to LA. Hi. We're on Melrose. Hey, what's up? Yo. To Oz. <laughs> My name is Chip. I like to rip. You better duck before we load another cross. <laughs> Welcome to LA. Bring all your friends from Oz. Hi. Come on out. <laughs> the water on the toilet bowl goes this way. <laughs> no, I don't think I make the super fly category. Us for arts, the, you know the... It's a number one smash! Here we go. Get <laughs> 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 It's gonna bump you. <laughs> Say hello to the family for me. Shout out to me. Now, yeah, Robert, didn't I say, <laughs> when we left the restaurant, didn't I say, Dave said, come on, right, we'll go to a strip bar. And I said, no, nah, no, nah, we go to a normal bar. Didn't I say that, Robert? Yeah, sure. Sure, love it. <laughs> <laughs> we all believe you. You bastard. <laughs> so, so. Suspended four.
Well, I hope you've all oh, enjoyed yeah, this. Sure. I've loved it. We'll see. We'll hook up tomorrow. We'll discuss everything we enjoyed and everything we didn't enjoy. What we can improve on next time. It will have, it will have an intensive <laughs> like week and a half of doing the, like, just like the whole record, have all the ups and downs. Yeah. And like the squad concertina into like a week. That's what's going to happen. This has been actually that quite remarkably nice devoid of down, like mm. serious down. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. So yeah. Maybe there's a couple days, the 301 at the beginning where we weren't getting one half mm. yeah. yeah. And then yeah. after that it was like, yeah. no, wouldn't be a problem. I agree. Fairly clear sailing, except yeah. for... Except for the huge <laughs> hiccup. <laughs> It's not Daniel sitting at the piano, you know, and there they are right up front. Right. We try it without the brass. It's just that for radio, for the floor mats we're talking about. Are you, are you following me on this? Shout out Sinead. Gives it a little fuck, mate. Is it really fucked? Oh, it's fucked. Give a look. Oh. <laughs> You're kidding me. <laughs> That's so big, man. Look at that compared to that. I can't feel that. There's a fluid in there or something. Oh, right. Oh. <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> I just went to sleep, man. <laughs> Say hello to the family for me. <laughs> bye bye. It's a sus. Suspended floor. Not destroyed. Lost. I'm not winning here. I'm nope. not winning either. <laughs> None of us are winning that. We're all losing. It was much more about, you know, the rock Emotes. quota yeah, I know. of the record, you know. Well, they probably want the first single to be a rock song. Yeah, yeah, they do, but there's a difference between writing a rock song and writing a rock single. Don't want to do it. It's, it's like, no, I don't want it. I want it to be uniquely Daniel. I want yeah. it to be uniquely that. That's, I, I honestly thought without you, our greatest view or love your life was that. I, I, for, for you, it is. For the average listener, it's not. Because you wanted to, you know, present the idea in an interesting way that yeah. would stand up to repeat listenings and which yeah. would carve out its own piece of turf. That's an yeah. admirable thing to want. Yeah. In doing that, we're not going to get a record released. <laughs> when it gets the way that that tends to happen... Do you really want me to answer this question right now? Yeah. It's going to depress you. Okay. I'm already depressed. Okay. Um, the way that that really goes down is that they say, you still don't have it. <clears throat> yeah. We want to wait a few more months just in case you come up with it. Don't rush it. Yeah. You've waited this long. We just want to have this one other song. Give yourself three more months. I'm a bit sick of this walk, actually. Point where it's so long.
Where is he? Full of shame. Try it. Hey John. Hello. How are we? Good, how are you? How'd the doctor go? Good. You alright? Yeah. Not a tumor? No, it's not a tumor. <clears throat> um, are you saying that you're just not willing to try anything different on that area? Oh yeah. Because really, like, I, I think it's perfect. But like no. if I sing it another way and he really likes it and really? I hate it, then he's got he's instantly got an option. Like there's a decision to be made, whereas if uh -huh. I just outright refuse to come up with another way to sing it, right. there's no option. Okay, I'm going to make a few phone calls in that case. Yeah. If I've got a vision for a song, we don't stop until that vision is fulfilled. I think a lot of people underestimate the intelligence of the general public. I kind of, in a lot of ways, it offends me when people say, that silver chair fans aren't going to get what I'm trying to do. I, I'm aware that it's a risk what I'm doing, but I didn't go out of my way to be different. It just came out, and I didn't didn't alter it to please anyone. Kick up. <laughs> we'll just ignore that. Pretend that never happened. Yeah. Yes. Well, it's been other than that. It's been really great. It's been smooth. <laughs> You guys just do your thing. It's sorted. Lovely. Believe That's me, it's sorted. Alright, tomorrow breakfast. Tomorrow breakfast. See you Come on, mate. Have a good one. Flight. See ya. Oh, yeah. Good luck with breakfast. See you, you, you later. See you later. See you on the chart. <laughs> this is cool. We're just going to drive home now. I've got to go around the back way. Because, uh, it's, it's all, the gates are closed and everything, we're going to go to the rear entrance. So here it is, we'll just go around the back way. We should be home any time soon. Was the moon that stole my slumber Across the night I I fell in love with people sleeping We've just encapsulated LA in one shot. Lights, cameras, Mustangs, roofless, car stopping. <laughs> Some people say I've changed. <laughs> Brought you here because I want to. I want to talk about the new direction. It's the new direction of Silk Chair. What it is, is this guy is awake, okay, he's awake, he's uh, obviously, he's very musical, and beyond all that, within that ability is an undefeated romantic, an informed optimist. So that's on the pause. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. just come in on that right yeah. now. That's cool. Yeah. You and then, then we can hang with this. Right, just get this keep hanging. Yep. 
you, you and me, and you and you, and you and you, and you and you, and you and you. It's one of those intimate moments shared by 20,000 people. <laughs> Really good? Yeah.